unusual. Last year, we had only five confirmed tornadoes in central Illinois. This year, we are already up to 12. WCI3's Jamal Williams is live outside the Champaign Public Library. And Jamal, some people took shelter there this morning. Yeah, I spoke with the men who came here because of the storm and ended up, and ended up having to bunker in the basement while the tornadoes passed through the area. Fayette County had an interesting start to the work week. In the span of an hour, two tornadoes were spotted. Experts say it's rare. So it's not impossible to get tornadoes in central Illinois in February. It's also not impossible to get them in the early morning hours, but to have both of those happen the same day certainly was a bit of a surprise. The surprise started early for a man in Urbana. The high winds caused a problem for him before the tornado warnings were even issued. It was quite a hectic morning, and then our power was knocked out this morning from this tree falling down. William Mendoza didn't have power, so he decided to drive to the Champaign Public Library to start an online meeting. That's when the sirens started. Library staff got everyone inside and downstairs. Where I'm from in Colorado, we get tornadoes actually quite common for around the springtime uh, and in the fall and September. Um, but, you know, I haven't had to hunker down like this. The tornadoes didn't cause any damage and no one was hurt, but library employees say they were glad they were ready. We prepare and do drills to train for these where we actually do hands-on um, experience to, to uh, run through scenarios um, and train staff so we create that muscle memory that they feel comfortable and confident to do so. As for the tornado in Ford County, it passed east of Paxton. Ford County EMA reported no damages there either. Reporting live from Champaign, Jamal, I'm Jamal Williams, WCA3, your local news leader. Much good news. All right. Thank you, Jamal.